Hi, we're gonna have making meaning right now. So what you need for making meaning is your response book. So go find your making meaning book. We're gonna to turn to page 10. We're gonna be answering some questions. We're gonna stop and answer some questions. So pause the video and go get that. All right, I hope everybody has their workbook now. Today I'm going to read you a story called A Day's Work by Eve Bunting. And we're gonna stop and think, and you're gonna write down in your response book when I ask you to, what are you wondering? What kind of questions do you have right now? So I'm going to, to have your pencil ready also to write. Francisco in the parking lot, stood in the parking lot with his grandfather and other men. It was the first time he'd been there. A truck cruised along, slowed. The driver held up three fingers, brick laying. I need three men, he called. Five jumped in the back. Only three, the driver said, and two had to get out. Hopefully you can see these pictures. Now, the workers left the parking lot and crumbled and shuffled around. Francisco's grandfather shivered. Ah, say frio, he said. That's Spanish for it is cold. Because it is still early, it will be hotter. Later, you will see, Francisco, Francisco said in Spanish. Why did you bring a kid? One of the men asked. No one will hire you with a kid. He belongs to school. It's Saturday, Francisco said. My abuelo, my grandfather, in Spanish, doesn't speak English yet. He came to California only two days ago to live with my mother and me. Francisco swallowed. We have been alone since my father died. I am going to help my abuelo get work. He took his grandfather's cold, rough hand and smiled up at him. Abuelo was tall and skinny as an old tree. Already Francisco loved him. When he was there, when, when there was money to spare, they'd get him a jacket like Francisco's with long sleeves enough to cover his hands and an L.A. Laker cup, just like Francisco's, too. A van was coming. Benjamin Gar Gardening was painted on the side. Francisco let go of his grandfather's hand. He darted through the swarm of men and was right in front of the van when it stopped. One man, the driver said, for gardening. He was young with thick black mustache and he was wearing an LA Lakers cap, just like Francisco's. Maybe cleaner. It must have been an omen, Francisco thought. Take us, take us, Mr. Benjamin, us. Francisco pointed back at his grandfather. He tilted his own cap over his eyes. Look, we love the Lakers too. And my grandfather is a fine gardener, though it do he doesn't know English yet. And the gardens are the same, right? Mexican and American? Francisco waved urgently for his grandfather to come. Also, you'll get two for one, he said. I don't charge for my work. Hmm. Okay, so what questions do you have right now? So what I would like you to do is pause the video and write down on the first box on page 10 questions or what are you wondering right now? Go ahead and do that. I don't charge for my work. Let's go on. The man grinned. Okay, I'm convinced, but I'm not Mr. Benjamin. Call me Ben. He motioned to Francisco. You and your grandfather jump back in the back. $60 for the day. 
Francisco nodded, his breath coming fast. That's much for a day's work. Mama would be so happy her job did not pay much. That would be extra food tonight. He pulled up, pulled open the back door. He threw in the bag of lunch Mama had packed and hurried his grandfather into the back of the van. A big, tough guy tried to get in, too. Francisco pushed him back. He was tough, and he was a worker. It is gardening, he told his abuela, abuelo, which means grandfather in Spanish, as the van pulled away. But I do not know gardening. I'm a carpenter. I've always lived in the city. Oh, it's easy. Waved Francisco through, waved through the window at passing cars as he did that. Flowers, roses, things like that. He raised his cap to the lady in the car. Senora, he said politely, though he couldn't hear her. The van turned off the freeway onto the winding road and stopped. A sloping bank led up to the backyards of the new houses. Some were not finished yet. Workers climbed high in the rooftops, and there was a, the good smell of tar. The high bank it was dotted with pretty white flowers and overgrown coarse green spikes. Six big black trash cans were waiting below. They all got out of the van, but Ben kept the motor running. I need you to weed this bank, he told Abuelo. Be sure to get the roots, he pointed to the cans. Dump them here. Good, fine. It was Francisco who answered. I have another job to go to, he said. I'll be back to get you at three. It will be hot. Your grandfather will need a hat. He took a straw hat from the van. Gracias, Abuelo said, which means thank you. See you guys then. Work hard and have a nice day. So, let's go ahead and pause the video now. Hmm. Are you wondering anything? Do you have any questions? Go ahead and write one down on the second box. What are you wondering right now? Or what questions do you have? See you guys then. Work hard and have a nice day. What did he say, Abuelo asked as the van drove off? He said to have a nice day. It is what everyone says up here. Your English is very good, my grandson, Abuelo said. Francisco nodded and smiled. He climbed the bank and hung his jacket on a railing. Now, he said, I will show you and he pulled up one of the spiky clumps and shook the dirt from the roots. These are weeds. Don't touch the flowers. His father smiled. Bueno, which means good in Spanish. Bueno, Francisco could see the strong white teeth all the way back to, to the, all, I'm sorry, Francisco could see his strong white teeth all the way to the back. So these are the ones that they're leaving and pulling up the spiky. Now they worked hard through the morning. A little poodle barked at them through the railing. Yap, 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 yap. An orange cat prowled the bank. There was a pool in one of the new backyards. Francisco heard splashing and voices. The water sound made him hotter. His shoulders and arms hurt. He thought about how proud his mom would be tonight. Sixty dollars, she would say, and hug Francisco and a boy. It's a fortune. At lunchtime, he and Abuelo ate the tortillas and tomatoes and drank the bottle of water she had packed. In another hour, they were finished. The bank looked so nice with just the brown dirt and the proudy, pretty flowers. Muy bonito, Francisco said. Yes, beautiful. Muy bonito means beautiful in that Spanish. 
He said his grandfather, he and his grandfather shook hands. Francisco thought he had never felt so good. He helped his grandfather and he had worked himself. They sat on the curb to wait for the van. When it came, they stood and brushed the loose dirt from their clothes. Ben got out and stared at the bank. Holy Toledo, he said. You didn't think we did a good, did a good job? Francisco went to laugh. Ben seemed so shocked. Francisco gave him a jump and pretended to slam dunk a ball. Like the Lakers, we worked hard. I can't believe it, Ben whispered. You, you, you took out all the plants and left all the weeds. Francisco stepped closer to Aboyola. But the flowers, he began. Ben pointed. Those flowers are chickweed. Chickweed. You took out my young ice plants. He yanked off his Laker cap and slammed it against the van. Hmm. So, what are you wondering now? Questions do you have now? Go ahead and pause the video. Right in box three. He took off his Laker camp, cap and slammed it against the van. What is it? Did we do something wrong? Abuela whispered in Spanish to Francisco. Ben's mustache quivered with anger. I thought you said your grandfather was a fine gardener. He doesn't even know it. Chickweed? Abuelo looked one of, from one of them to another. Tell me what's happening, Francisco, he said. We left the weeds. We took out the plants, Francisco said it softly in Spanish. It was hard to look at his grandfather as he spoke. He thought we knew about gardening, Abuelo said. His Spanish was fast and angry. You lied to him. Isn't that so? You needed a day's work. We do not lie for work. Now, there was more sadness than anger in Abuelo's voice. Oh, my grandson. He put his hand on Francisco's shoulder. Ask him what we can do. Tell him we will come back tomorrow if he agrees. We will pull out the weeds and put the good plants back. Francisco felt his heart go weak. But, 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 but Abuelo, that would be twice the work. And there's a Laker game on TV. And there is also church. It's Sunday. Oh, he hoped the word church would perhaps change his grandfather's thinking. Well, we'll have to miss them both then, grandfather said. It is the price of telling a lie. Tell the gentleman what I said and ask him if the plants will live. Ben said they would. The roots are still there. If they're replanted early, they'll be all right. He rubbed his eyes. This is partly my fault. I should have stayed to get you started. But Grandfather appreciated his offer and said, I'll bring you back in the morning. The three of them got into the van. So, go ahead and pause the video for the next part. For your last question, what are you thinking or wondering now? Pause the video and write that. The three of them got back in the van. Francisco sat by the window in huddled silence. He didn't wave to the passing cars. He didn't raise his caps. He helped his grandfather find work. But in the end, he had lied and spoiled the day. His throat burned with tears. The parking lot was empty. The trash can overflowed with used paper cups and sandwich wrappings. Ben let them out. Look, he said, if you need money, I'll give you half now. He began to pull out his wallet from his pocket, but Abuelo held up his hand. Tell him... We'll take the pay tomorrow when we when we finish. Francisco's father and Ben looked at each other. 
The words seemed to pass between them, though there was no words. Ben slid his wallet back into his pocket. Francisco, Francisco sighed. Hmm. It, it had been a lie that he shouldn't have said. Tomorrow then at 6 a.m., Ben said, and tell your grandfather I can always use a good man for more than just a day's work. Francisco gave a hop of excitement. More than just a day? Ben was still speaking. The important things your grandfather knows already, and I can teach him gardening. Francisco nodded. He understood. He would tell his grandfather, and he would tell him something else. He, Francisco, had begun to learn the important things, too. Francisco took his grandfather's cold, rough hand in his. Let's go home, Abuelo, he said. Okay, now think about the story. What is the story about? How do you think Francisco feels at the point of the story where uh, Mr. Ben showed up and uh, saw the work that he had done? So for your reading today, in your book, you can find a book that you took home or a book around your house, a uh, fiction book, I would like you to stop, think, ask yourself some questions. What are you wondering as you read? Write it on a notebook paper or any paper. I would like two questions about your reading today to turn in. Thank you.